Okay, here's part two. Uh, it's just four more books. This is Raven Speak by Diane Lee Wilson. Aza Coppermain is the proud daughter of a Viking chief. Aza and her horse, Rune, are creatures of the sea and the cold northern lands. But this winter has been the worst one Aza has ever seen. Her father and the other men have gone to sea to search for food, leaving behind the women and children, many sick with fever. Also left behind is Jorgen, the clan's wise man. His stories are meant to comfort them all, but Aza suspects that what Jorgen really wants is power. Now that her father is gone, Jorgen demands Aza give up Rune for food and as a sacrifice to the gods. When Jorgen comes to kill Rune, Aza fights him off and she and the horse flee. They find shelter with a one-eyed old woman who speaks to her two pet ravens and who seems to have a strange power over Aza. The old woman hints that Aza must make a sacrifice to save her clan. But how? And what kind of sacrifice? What are the secrets of the raven speak? So... I don't know if that's my kind of, kind of story. It's by Simon and Schuster, Schuster, but um, it sounds like some people might like it. So, um, Prophecy of Days by Christy Radik. This is book one, The Daykeeper's Grimoire. When her safecracker mom and codebreaker dad inherit a dreary Scottish castle, 16-year-old Katie Mac Fireland is not happy. Ripped from her cushy life and friends in San Francisco, Katie's secret fantasy of being discovered by a Hollywood agent, talent scout, or even just a pageant coach seems more unlikely than ever. But when Katie stumbles across a hidden room in the castle, its walls covered in strange symbols, her life takes a bizarre turn. She finds herself center stage in an international conspiracy involving warring secret societies, assassins, the suppressed revelations of the Mayan calendar, and the year 2012, plus the fate of humanity. With the help of her friend Justine back home and Alex, a gorgeous and mysterious Scottish boy, Katie must race to dust for the cold and reveal its message to the world before time runs out. Can one super smart girl who just wants to be discovered decipher the cryptic Mayan calendar prophecy and save the world? So that sounds pretty good, and actually in the back it has that. So, um, Dark Life by Cat Falls. Earthquake shattered the continents, toppling entire regions into the rising water. Now humans live packed into stacked cities. The only ones with any space of their own are those who live on the ocean floor, the, the dark life. Ty has spent his whole life living deep under sea, helping his family farm the ocean floor. But when outlaws attack his homestead, Ty finds himself in a fight to save the only home he has ever known. Joined by Gemma, a girl from the topside who has come subsea to look for her brother, Ty ventures into the frontier's rough underworld and discovers some dark secrets to dark life. Secrets that threaten to destroy everything. And that says, In dark life, Cat Falls has created a breathtaking world where the deep can be dangerous, the darkness can be deadly, and sometimes it takes extraordinary power to survive. So that actually sounds pretty good. Oh, that's cool. It says, Kate Falls lives with her husband and three children in Evanston, Illinois, which is um, probably about two hours for me. Um, where she teaches screenwriting at Northwestern University. This is her first book. That's awesome. And the last one, Accomplice by Erin Corrigan. They've gotten good grades, but that's not good enough. They've spent hours on community service, but that's not good enough. Finn and Chloe's advisor says that colleges have enough kids with good grades and perfect attendance, so Chloe decides they'll have to attract attention another way. She and Finn will stage Chloe's disappearance, and then when CNN is on their doorstep and the nation is riveted, Finn will find and save her. It seems like the perfect plan, until things start to go wrong. Very wrong. It was supposed to be a victimless crime. Finn was supposed to be the good accomplice, and Chloe was supposed to be the hidden object of attention. But when things intensify, situations become more and more extreme, and what once seemed victimless isn't so innocent anymore. So that sounds really good, too. So those are just a glimpse into some books that you may not have heard of. 
Um, so, yeah. Um, if anybody wants to do a video on maybe some hidden gems and uh, some books that they've read or they think sounds really good that you know others may not have heard of ones that aren't in the spotlight all the time like how the hunger games were and um oh what else just you know whatever other big books are out there which i can't even think right now <laughs> um go ahead and make a video on it um or if you just want to comment below you know go ahead and do that because i would love to hear about some books that not everybody's reading so all right thanks guys bye